So Matthew 23, verse 9, it says, Jesus says, do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven, nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. Then we see 1 Corinthians 4, verse 15, Paul say in the New Testament, even if you had 10,000 others to teach you about Christ, you have only one spiritual father. For I became your father in Christ Jesus when I preached the good news to you. So we see a lot of people using the scripture I spoke before saying you should not have any spiritual fathers or mothers because this scripture says, Jesus says you should not call anybody father. Okay, so these seemingly contradict. So let's look at God's heart first. God's heart we see Elijah to Elisha, Moses to Joshua, Paul to Timothy. We see God's system and principle and his heart for people to come under an anointed leader as a spiritual son, as a spiritual daughter, and then be not just a mentor, but a father or mother in the spirit. One that, that, that gives a covering, a spiritual covering of protection. And, and, and one that will release impartation, a mantle like Elijah to Elisha. So that's God's heart. And we, we know that God trusts Paul to write most of the New Testament. And Paul is saying here, um, I'm your spiritual father, right? So, okay, we have God's heart. Now let's look at context. So the scripture, the first scripture, Matthew 23, verse 9, we're going to go, we have to look at the surrounding scripture to really understand what's going on. So we're going to go back to verse 1, and it says, Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So you must be careful to do everything they tell you, but do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything they do is done for people to see. They make their phylacteries wide and the tassels on their garment long. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brothers. And do not call anyone on earth father, for you have one father and he is in heaven, nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. So we see that Jesus is angry at the Pharisees, at how they are absolutely not uh, true fathers, spiritual fathers and teachers. And they have these horrible motives that they want to lord over people and have this gross pride. And Jesus is not happy with that at all. He's mad at that. He's talking to his disciples at this time when they are still with him on this earth. He's talking to them as babies who are just still learning. And he's speaking to them in this certain moment. Don't call them teacher. Don't call them father. That's what he's saying in this moment. And, and part of what I'm saying to you is, 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 is the Holy Spirit giving me revelation to teach you. Sometimes that's what's needed. Sometimes it's, it's more than just looking at the scriptural context, but getting that revelation from the Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm sharing with you. The Holy Spirit spoke to me that, this, that he was speaking to them at that time about the Pharisees specifically. Not that as time progressed and it was time for them to be spiritual fathers and mothers that they shouldn't call themselves fathers. If we took that scripture literal, it would mean that we could not, that you would send your child to school and you could not, the, the child could not call their teacher, teacher. If you really want to take it literally. We also see how it says in Ephesians 4 that God gave apostles, Jesus gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Jesus was not speaking outside of that situation concerning the Pharisees. He was speaking about the Pharisees. Don't call them teachers. And also, they were just young in the faith, the disciples. So he wasn't ready to be like, you're going to be a father. He, he was speaking like, let's, I want to make sure you don't have pride. Let's start sl- s- slowly. You're not even ready to be thinking about being a father or a teacher yet. So I'm not going to say, but the time will come when it will be okay for you to be a spiritual father. He wasn't to that point yet. 